I really love this idea. So this is big boards for families. For Christmas, my family tends to kind of do like a big board also. So like a big sandwich thing. And I thought that's a really great idea for weekdays. So I want to see what kind of the ideas they have because a lot of us lead busy lives and sometimes it's just easier to place things out so your kids and your people can just pick whatever they want to put together and call it a day instead of trying to micromanage everybody, right? So this is by Sandy Coughlin and she's the creator of Reluctant Entertainer. <laughs> so again, clearly this is probably going to be a really awesome book for those that need that. Let's look at the table of contents here. We have chapter one, it is bring your family around the table. Chapter two is start, uh, jumpstart the day. We have breakfast boards, I'm excited. Okay, so chapter three is crunch, munch, go. Four is let's do lunch. Five is create a plate. Six is time to feast. And seven, dessert, obviously. I wish she had like a drink board too, that would have been fun. Maybe that'll be another book. So. I know that one thing that my family did that not a lot of families did actually was eat at the table. So by putting a board with all of your stuff on the table, it encourages us to actually go and eat at the table, hang out with family, see how each other's days are going instead of being distracted by like the TV, video games or eating in separate rooms. It brings us together. It's kind of cute. So here's a brunch board example. This is Tea Party Brunch Board, and as you can see, there's tiny little sandwiches, beautiful, I, that almost looks like a lemon loaf. There's berries over here, there's different uh, macarons, there's oh, madelines, I mean, there's all kinds of cool stuff, and then the tea everywhere, love it. Savory and sweet all together, and everybody just gets to bring a tiny little part where they get to pe piece together what they want. So I guess here we have for the board itself, they have a bunch of different recipes here, obviously. A ham and rice sandwich, clotted cream, lemon curd. And a lot of this, they just kind of encourage you to go buy it. Go buy clotted cream. You don't need to make it. Just here, put together this stuff. Um, and then we have, she does have recipes here. So for Downton Abbey lavender tea bread, which is probably this long line of loaves right here. She has the tea bread recipe. Here's how you assemble the board as well. That's really nice. And then we have um, tips. So if, you ha if you're a little confused or if you're overwhelmed, she does provide tips at the very ends of her recipes to encourage us to like how to make things look cuter. Like here's little, use cu cookie cutters to make the bread super small. Like she is trying to help us make these really awesome boards and she's using all of these things that hopefully a lot of us have at our disposal. So here we have a European breakfast charcuterie board. This would be so much fun. And like I said before, I know my sister and I were a huge hassle to deal with. We would always like the opposite things and it would be really hard to feed us on every, like for everything, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So by providing a board, with a variety of things to choose from. It gives us, we have the power and control over what we put on our plate, which makes it seem like we are the ones making these amazing decisions, whereas it's really like your limp, you know. It's, it's a great idea, it really is. And this is great for brunch on the weekend. I don't necessarily see us having the time to do this on weekdays all the time, but it would be fun to do this for dinners and whatnot, so. Speaking of dinners, let's move forward. These are, this is a weekend breakfast taco board. I'm all for that. This looks so good. What is that? That can't be the taco board. That's the Mediterranean shakshuka board. That looks so good. Here is, ooh, this looks like a Chinese. No, yes. Chinese kongi board. That's a great idea. I love that. Kongi is really easy to put together and creating like different, you can create so much stuff with it. It's basically like oatmeal. It's so good. Crunch and munch mini club sandwich kebabs board. This I could see throwing together pretty fast. You can buy chocolate chip cookies. You can buy potato chips. You can buy a lot of these meats and pickled um, veggies and throw it on a skewer and call it a day. That'd be super fun. 
the kids would like that, I think. We have a veggie roll-up snack board. Here's an example of that. Ooh, this looks really good. This is a pretzel bites board. Different dips, different pairings, all kinds of cool stuff. This is something I know a lot of us can get behind. A family size nacho board, of course. Not everybody likes everything on their nachos, so this is a great example of why you want like little separate dishes so people can kind of put together their own little nacho. Ooh, this is cheesy sloppy joe sliders board. That's a cool idea. I could, it, yeah, this is a great idea. Moving forward, we have a summer bar, a burger board. Yum. Love that. That's a fairly common thing in at my family's place. A deli spread sandwich board. This is what we usually do for Christmas, to be perfectly honest. And it actually works really well. Everybody's happy and they get their own, they can make their own sandwiches. And, you know, if you provide all kinds of ingredients, it, it really does satisfy everybody. It's really easy to throw together because you just buy all the sandwich meat and whatnot. Here's a Italian tortellini salad board. Wow. Let's move forward a little more. We have the best clam chowder board. That's a fun idea. Here we have a festive taco dinner bar. You can't get, you can't, I mean, tacos are the best boards ever. Just mixing and matching different tacos. That's so fun. Wholesome bowls board. I, I'm seeing a trend here where a lot of people are starting to get that bowls are really amazing and you can do a lot with different bowls. So love this idea. It's super easy to throw together. Here we have a Cake Bites dessert board. Probably a little more involved, but this would be really fun for parties. You can have all kinds of little bites, fruits, super easy to find. You can buy a lot of these at the grocery store. You can buy it on Amazon. There's a lot of stuff out there resources where you don't actually have to make each individual thing these are just suggestions she does give you a guide on how to assemble these boards so they look really appetizing and beautiful let's do one more um board that's dessert obviously a chocolate fondue board this is cute there's little animal cookies marshmallows brownies strawberries little cheesecakes, even waffles. All of these are so easy to find. You don't have to make any of this. It's really nice, super convenient, great for parties. And I love how she just throws it all together and it looks just beautiful. Check this out. It's big boards for, for families, parties, anything. This is a great hosting cookbook for sure. This is by Sandy Coff Coughlin. If you are interested in checking out more cookbooks, come find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and we have Amazon Live. So come join us on there. Before you leave today, make sure to like and subscribe and let us know what cookbooks you enjoy. Thank you guys so much for listening and have a great day.